नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो रिसेंटली द आईटीआरए जामनगर हैज रिलीज्ड पीएचडी नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस ईयर दैट इज 2022 एंड 23 ऑनवर्ड्स द बैच सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस ऑफ द सेम when it comes to phd in ayurveda so jamnagar jaipur and then new delhi these are institutes which come in the mind of the scholars because these are regular ones and coming under the ministry of ayush so today we are going to see the recent phd admission notification by itra jamnagar so it is one of the um, uh, national institute coming under the ministry of ayush and it is located in jamnagar as everyone is aware of so the critical dates in relation to this phd examination is the notification has already been out Two days ago, and then online forms are also out, so you can fill, you can start filling now. And last day for filling the application form is the fifteenth of next month, that is December. Uh, but that is not the last day to fill the online form as such, as it is mentioned here. So we'll be discussing that in detail. Entrance test will be in the January, and then result and counselling will be within the twenty-four hours gap, and then the session is going to start from January thirteenth. So this is the critical dates. For now, the application last date you have to keep in mind. so the tenure of this phd course as of this uh, notification is basically 2 years as itr has been running phd for so many years uh, with this tenure 2 years but as you might have already been aware that the ugc has released the guidelines where regular phd should be at least a minimum of 3 years and uh, jaipur has already adopted that long ago and itr has now already submitted the uh, protocol of ugc and then asked the ministry of ayush to give permission for 3 years so 99.99% this uh, admission is going to be for a tenure of 3 years during the admission will be told about 2 years but as the rules will change when the uh, acceptance from ministry comes it will be automatically converted into 3 years so whoever is going to take a seat here should be prepared for 3 years and it is the rule as per the ugc so no nobody can do anything so eligibility is post graduation in ayurveda ayurveda pharmacy medicinal plant so basically the ayurveda i think everyone is aware that fourteen departments are there but few of them may not be here in itra and there is another post uh, masters degree in jamnagar one is for less in the ms in ayurveda pharmacy another one is msc uh, in the medicinal plants of so that is another of the two courses which is been run by itr so these are nothing but post graduate uh, studies other than md and ms so we are going to discuss that in another video so the one who has done post graduation in this also has an opportunity to do phd in the respective subject now the mode of application is initially the online form has to be filled and then submitted once the submission is done you will get the filled form in the pdf form or you can say directly ready made form you have to take the print out and then send it to the address as mentioned in the uh, prospectus that is the office address of jamnagar itra so hard copy has to reach the office Uh, of itra before the last week so what it means is for the safety side send it before at least one week before the last week so i would prefer sending the application as soon as possible along with dd and if you are planning to send at last don't take risk because the post may take uh, a delayed time to so reach which may reject your which may help you or you can say which may may not help you to reach the uh, the examination center because the notification in the Uh, name may be cancelled because of late getting of the application form now this examination what they are going to conduct that is the entrance test for phd will be consisting of 100 marks so 90 minutes time will be given uh, two papers one is the uh, 50 marks for the research stats and then recent advancements in the field of medicine second paper will be respective subject so this is one of the another change uh, which has been made in this uh, notification earlier the jamnagar phd exam used to have the entire bms syllabus irrespective of the department the scholar has to prepare for the entire bms syllabus and that was basically not right because phd is specifically going to be uh, subject one and a very brief one or very specific one so there is no point in other branch person uh, knowing in depth about some other branch so in this uh, notification this has been clarified and the respective subject what he is choosing from so will be the uh, subject here so in the second part so first paper will be common for all that is research stats recent advancements in medicine next examination uh, will be uh, as per this uh, respective syllabus in the pg so as i already mentioned the same thing so if you are 
entering into PhD in Russia Shastra, you have to study the MD Prash Shastra syllabus in detail. Similarly, for Shalya, similarly for any other department. So, the respective PG will be given uh, the preference in preparing the question paper. Now, the this is in relation to the uh, first part, that is the common part. Now, uh, what I am talking about in this slide is the other two PhD, that is one is Ayurveda Pharmacy, another one is Medicinal Plants, the post-graduation or the Masters in Jamnagar, who have completed that can enter into this PhD course, provided they clear this exam. And the syllabus will be, if he is taking Ayurveda Pharmacy, the syllabus what is there in the Ayurveda Pharmacy Masters, that will be there, and then recent advancements in the uh, drug research. So this is in relation to the examination for these two. So examination will be of 90 minutes plus one mark for the right answer. There will be negative marking that is minus quarter and then no marks for the wrong answer or you can say unattempted answer. So we have to carefully take the answer so that you don't lose out the actual right answer because of these negatives. Now minimum marks needed 50 marks as usual. And as per the reservation SCST quota, if you are coming under that, you may be uh, eligible even at the marks of minimum 45. Now, the distribution of seats, what is mentioned here, you can see these are the departments, 13 departments. One department is not available uh, with, uh, in ITRA. Now, the number of seats and category wise, you can see here. But one catch here is the, uh, whether all of them are stipend seats or not, that will be clarified by uh, the ITRA during uh, just before the exam or in the coming days, so which are the exact uh, you can say the stipend seats. So there are stipend seats, there are non-stipend seats. So if all of them are stipend seats, it's well and good. So as of, as per the notification, now no clarity is given. So most probably it could be that uh, they are stipendary, but we have to wait and see whether all are stipendary or not. Next, this is in relation to certain notes on the uh, table. One in Ayurveda Samhita, you can see there are three seats. So, in among those three seats, one is reserved for PH, that is PWD quota, physically uh, disabled quota. So, if the candidate is available in unreserved, then that will go there. If the candidate is available in OBC, it goes there. So, it is not specific that uh, PWD, ST, nothing like that. If the PWD quota is available in any of these three departments, like, uh, sorry, categories, that seat will be given for that particular student. Then, other than that, if there is no availability, that will be converted or that will be offered to unreserved candidate. And then imagine there is a category of ST and there is no scholar who is available. Uh, then the seat will be offered to the unreserved candidate. So examination fees will be 2000 for the major categories and SCST and PWD it is 1500. So this is the seat matrix for the other two. As I already mentioned, the type and the seats for the Ayurveda Pharmacy and Medicinal Plants Masters. Those people can get a glimpse of this so that they get to know which are the seats available for them. So this is in relation to the entire notification. What is the stipend? As everybody is curious about that, we have made a detailed video on that. So you can go in this description and get the exact details of the stipend. One thing you need to note is if imagine in the marks, you are equaling the other person. Like you got 60, other person also got 60. Now who will go on top? So there the part A, which consists of research stat and uh, modern recent developments, recent developments in medicine, the one who has scored better in part A will be given the preference or will be given the higher rank. And imagine there also there is time. Then the post-graduation final marks will be considered in that particular uh, between those two. So that will be considered and they will or he or she will be put on top and then the second person will be coming in the next rank. So this is in relation to when there is a tie between the candidates. So and other than that, I think we have covered everything. So how to fill the form online application, where, you, where do you get all those things? or also made uh, uh, clear with another video with a live demonstration you can see in the description there you can also get to know where to get the link and how to fill how to get the download print and all those things in detail so this is in relation to the uh, stipend and non stipend receipts of the phd in jamnagar so if there is any updates we'll be updating in the coming days so until next time thank you whoever is taking this examination all the best